Now we come to the last th or the third part of the connective tissue that is the fluid connective tissue. Okay. Now under this fluid connective tissue there are again divisions called the blood and the lymph. Well, fluid means what? Fluid means liquid, right? So these type of connective tissues are in the form of liquid that is connecting one part of the body to the other part of the body with the help of liquid or fluid like substance to transport various nutrients you can say or essential substances in our body okay so that is what is all about fluid connective tissue now let's uh, study about the fluid connective tissue under this we have blood uh, let me change the ink okay so first we are going to study about the blood so now this blood consists of what c plasma rbc wbc plus platelets is equal to blood okay or do you want me to change this one rbc is red in color blood is also red in color okay now see what is the thing blood actually blood is what a fluid a liquid connective tissue but this blood has four components in it number one plasma number two rbc number three wbc and number four is the platelets when these four components combine that combined uh, substance is called the blood okay now we shall see one by one so blood consists of what they consist of this plasma plasma is what Pla this one plasma is the watery substance in the blood that liquid substance in the blood is the plasma it consists of water protein nutrients salts various metabolites enzymes hormones are present here okay in that liquid thing which is the plasma then comes your this one red blood cells now these red blood cells are also called as erythrocytes and what is the role of these erythrocytes they transport oxygen and carbon dioxide transport oxygen and carbon dioxide to various parts of the body this is the function of the rbc red blood cells or erythrocytes because of the color of red in these red blood cells that's why our blood is red in color okay fine understood next we come to the wbc white blood cells now these white blood cells or it is also called as leukocytes okay now the thing is that what is the role of wbc they are just like the soldiers in our body okay they are there to fight off several infections in our body all right so that is the function of the wbc or leukocytes rbc is erythrocytes wbc is leukocytes fine they are the soldiers that helps to fight off several diseases or infections in our body and then we have the fourth component that is the platelets these are the platelets now these platelets are also called as thrombocytes okay they are called as thrombocytes and they help the blood to clot help the blood to clot so suppose you have uh, cut your skin and then there is bleeding but within few seconds you see that the bleeding stops why does it stop because inside this blood there are platelets which act as clotting factors that means whenever these platelets they understand that okay this person has started to bleed blood is flowing out of the body they start their function and then what happens is that they stop the bleeding okay and stop uh, makes the blood clotted on the outer surface fine so obviously so this doesn't bleed okay so that was all about your blood so once again i'll tell you this blood this is the liquid connective tissue right it consists of 
plasma rbc wbc and platelets when these four things combine then only we get blood okay and the thing is that why is the blood red in color because of the presence of red blood cells which is red in color and that's why due to this redness only blood is red in color i hope now it's absolutely clear next uh, the thing is all about the limb okay now what is the limb uh, well uh, the background i mean uh, the dogs might be barking barking you can hear that maybe ignore that now the thing is that we are talking of lymph which is another type of fluid connective tissue now what is this lymph suppose this is a blood capillary what are blood capillaries they carry the nutrients from one part to the other okay now what happens is that these blood capillaries they have these small holes okay they have these small holes so as blood keeps on moving we know blood consists of platelets then rbc then wbc and uh, plasma of course the liquid substance is here plasma platelets this four components so what happens when the blood travels to various capillaries at that point of time as it keeps on passing as the holes are present in the capillaries certain amount of wbc plus plasma they come out okay the liquid substance comes out wbc and plasma they flow out of the body sometimes uh, platelets also come out sometimes platelets which is uh, um like negligible you can say negligible okay so in this way this wbc and plasma comes out of these holes but rbc the red blood cells your question can be ma'am why doesn't the rbc come out of the holes the reason that rbc cannot come out from the holes is that the rbc are bigger in size compared to these holes as they are bigger so they get stuck here so they are not able to come out okay so this is all about this wbc and plasma that comes out of this blood capillaries and this wbc and plasma is actually the lymph and you can see this green 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 portion these are the lymph vessels so whenever this lymph comes out of the blood capillaries this lymph vessels they carry those wbc and plasma okay and this lymph and so obviously in this lymph vessels there will be lymph fluid and this lymph fluid they help to protect the body against any sort of infection protects the body against infection all right so this is the function of the lymph understood please rewatch this video once again and so we are done i think with the animal tissues uh, this is epithelial muscular and connective tissue don't forget that the fluid connective tissue is under this part only connective thing connective uh, tissue all right so in the next video we will be studying the last part of animal tissues that is the nervous tissue or in short you can also say it as neuron okay i hope you are enjoying the lectures and gaining knowledge uh, so please uh, keep rewatching these videos again and again and again and make notes uh, so that it becomes helpful before the exams Okay so anyway bye happy learning take care